Welcome to Hello Self. It's a podcast focused on turning your cans into cans and your dreams into plans. I am your host, coach, and author, Patricia Leonard. Good morning or good afternoon, whatever time it is out there for you. I am Patricia Leonard and normally the host of this Hello Self podcast. But today I am turning it over to my podcast producer, Arlia Hoffman. She is going to be the host today (laughs) and I will be the guest. So enjoy the podcast. Hi, Patricia. Thanks for letting me take over your show today. (laughs) You're so welcome, and I'm excited. (laughs) There's a a real reason we wanted to do this today, because you have a big event coming up, and we thought it would be fun just to talk about it together, to tell people everything it's going to be, and why you're doing this, and what's going to happen, and how to get tickets. I am thrilled to hear all that you've been working on. So tell us, I guess your listeners know who you are. They know you're the author of Hello Self. They also see the high heel in the background of your podcast every day. Let's start there and and talk about your relationship and the reason you use the high heel. Very good. Great transition. Years ago, I wrote a book, High Heels in a Flip-Flop World. And it has been my brand for all this time. And it seems like without my own consciousness, everything I've done has expanded that brand. And another book about becoming woman and uh, hello self is about uh, finding that uh, person within that sometimes we don't know. And so that's really what High Heels is about. And this cabaret, this high heels cabaret that I'm creating now is simply an extension of all the work that I've been doing all these years around high heels. Well, before before we get into, before we get into the cabaret, explain for people who don't know or don't remember why, what does that mean? High heels in a flip-flop world? Yes, and that was exactly what I was going to say. It has nothing to do with high heels, actually. It's simply a metaphor, and I'll just read you exactly what the metaphor is about. It's a metaphor for stepping out of your flip-flop thinking, comfort Mm. zone, or whatever, and expressing in your high heels attitude. So it has nothing to do... I had one client that said I don't wear high heels Patricia I said (laughs) no this is not about high heels it's about you finding who you are in your attitude as Arlia was saying the high heels cabaret is exactly about that that's the mission is helping individuals and I'd like to say that it's not always going to be women on my high heels cabaret I'd like to say that we will have performers that are sometimes men because after all, they have an understanding. And guess what? The very first wearers of high heels were men. In That's the right. I've read that. Yes. So, so let's talk about how you came up with the idea of the High Heels Cabaret and exactly what is it? Yes. I came up with this idea. Maybe I don't know if I should say this or not but it was a dream. (laughs) It was not something that I consciously created initially. It was an insight, which all of, we all get those insights. That's what our hello self moments are are about is what is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, Patricia. So I uh, had this insight and I just uh, simply ran it by a friend of mine from New York. And she said, I think it's a fabulous idea. And it's an extension of something that you are branded about. And women, I think, would really like this. And she even said, and men would like this because we're all learning about each other. And that is really what High Heels Cabaret, that's how it started, the birth of it. 
But then I realized it's an extension of my wearing high heels in a flip-flop world, my hello self, becoming woman, and all of these things. She left to go to New York. She was here in Tennessee and left to go to New York. And I just started creating it. And you know what? This is one thing that I would like to say to everybody that's listening. If you get an idea, don't just throw it in the trash. Mm. Go talk to somebody about it because that's how my hello self, my high heels cabaret came about. That's and a yes. That, that's a great point because we we do tend to like dismiss our ideas as soon as they happen and don't give them time to grow and and be uh, become something. So exactly. so the cabaret is a show. Yes, and I want to pick up on that. Don't throw your ideas away because yes, and this is what I'm doing with others. It is a show. Mm -hmm. a 90 minute to one hour or two hour show and it's showcasing diverse talent it might be a comedian a spoken word I have a woman in the show that's coming up on August the 25th I have a woman speaking Shakespeare Taming of the Shrew mm. I love Shakespeare. I'm in love with him, but he didn't know it. <laughs> but anyway, in solo singing, uh, creating. But the funny thing is it's happening. This is right back to my hello self and the linking of all of this. When I call somebody to say, would you be interested? They say, what would I do? And mm. in the moment, we are creating something for them to do. It's a hello self moment for them, frankly. And what I'm finding now is that there are people saying, Patricia, I'd like to do something. And so here's what I feel like that this cabaret is about. It's helping people. After all, we went through a couple of years that we put ourselves in a locked up room and mm -hmm. just let life uh, be for that moment, but not thinking much. And what is happening now, not only at the social, economic, global level, astrological level too, we're all wake, beginning to wake up. And I have an article about what the society that's waking up in my Hello Self book, but this is a way to help society wake up to... Mm they are hello i didn't know i could do this but so, and, it sounds like it's happening not just in the show but as you connect with the performers and they're waking they're remembering their own potential and being creative right arlia you are so right that is a great point to bring out because i've had some what I, i'm not going to talk about the artist but i in one of the conversations i had she had created something when she was nine years old. Mm. Guess where it's been? On that someday shelf. Wow. And she started reading it. We were on a two-hour audition, actually. And it was as much about sharing her inner desires as it was about the, the, skip, the script that she wants to share. But it was at nine years old. We all mm -hmm. have done that at some point, have thought something, written something, and then didn't follow through. Mm -hmm. And I think High Heels Cabaret offers that opportunity. That is our mission. Is Yeah, please do elaborate on the mission because I know you, you had created that. Yes, because I think it's so important if you're going to offer something, whatever, just like with my Hello Self book, book, what was my mission? It's to wake people up to who they are. High Heels Cabaret is an extension of that, not from a reading standpoint, not from reading words, but from actual expression, from being involved, engaged, if you will, because that is one of my missions is to engage, inspire, and entertain with this High Heels Cabaret. Yes, it's entertainment, but what I'm finding is it's helping people wake up to the mm. dreams that they've had and put on their someday shelf. And that's why I'm so excited. 
I'm excited for you. It's, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. So this is going to be in Nashville on, you said, August 25th? 25th? Yes, it will be in Nashville, Tennessee. This is the first show. And we have another one scheduled in October, which we may talk more about later. But this one is August the 25th. And it's from 7 to 9. And it will be at Peg studios which is the studio community college on white bridge road mm. we're going to be shooting there and then we'll have a video of it to show people but it'll go out on a local television channel and so we're we'll be selling tickets and because we want a live audience but i'm hoping that even if you're not in Nashville or you can't make it to Nashville for the show, that we will be showing it on uh, women in film television, Roku television too. So it's going to be available for others to see. And I hope that encourages you to maybe get involved with um, High Heels Cabaret. Is there, oh. is there a place where the proceeds for the tickets go? Does there, is there a they're a nonprofit involved in this? Yes. As a matter of fact, the Peg Studio, the uh, NECAT Peg Studios is a nonprofit mm. division of the university I see. and women in film. This is a fundraiser for women in film and NECAT Studios because they are a nonprofit. And I'm glad that you highlighted that too, Arlia, because my goal is to take the, to have it as a fundraiser for nonprofit organizations or conferences if they want to raise money for their conferences using some of their people. Also for corporate America, I have done these kind of things in corporate America. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing the team building results that come out of it when they're allowed to express, not on a flip chart, but an expression of who they are and what they may have, whether yeah. it's art or whether it's a song or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we, it sounds like to, yeah, you, take you're, cre place. you're creating this cabaret is really almost like a, it's like a tool, right? It's a, you're doing this now as a performance, but it sounds like it's now then going to be available as a tool for organizations that want to use it. Yes. But, but, Here's a tool, not for them to use necessarily, but a tool for them to bring into their organization. Got it. Be yeah, because and I don't know how this is going to work yet. I just know that it works because I have I dressed up as a magician one time in a corporate office and did a workshop of the power of communication. And it was not. It was not your typical workshop. It was a performance workshop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you finding? What have you found? Uh, clearly, you have found that the bringing performance into the workplace is effective. What does it do? Why well, is it so effective? You know what? Actually, this starts. One of the uh, performers that's going to be in my show works with children, creates children's things. This is actually where it should begin in the school mm. where, and I do want to take it to academia. And this is exactly where it should begin is at the uh, children's level. And what I find in corporate America, we, t we drop titles. There, is no, there are no titles involved because in this workshop I did, there was a vice president. And then the people that worked in the organization. So there were no titles brought out then. It's a performance kind of thing. And it's getting in the moment. Not what I was, not what I am, but in the moment of doing something. So it is a, it brings people together. And yes, it empowers them mm. to not see themselves as something less than but mm -hmm. equal to, and that's been my whole philosophy. I came from corporate America, human resources. 
And my whole philosophy is if somebody wants to do something, I'm going to tell this quick story. I had a young man that was his parents wanted him to become an engineer at Purdue University. And he was an intern that I hired for in the company that I was working with. And he said, Miss Leonard, I do not want to be an engineer, but my family says that's the way I'll make money. And uh, so I said, what do you want to be? He said, I want to do what you're doing. I want to help others find their niche, their career. And I said, I'll tell you what we'll do to satisfy your parents and satisfy your career. And this is what can happen in corporate America. I want you to go ahead, if you will, finish your degree in engineering and come in and work for my company for two years because he was an intern at that time and work for my company for this organization I was working for two years in the engineering department. And then I'll bring you in to the human resources and you can hire engineers. That mm. is exactly what he did. This works in corporate America. This works in education. This works any place that you want it to work, conferences. So it is, we talk about the wake up, the woke culture now. We have a, a culture that maybe calls themselves woke, but they don't have a strategic plan how any of that happens. They mm. just use the language. And I say that this is one way that it can happen, that you truly wake up to who you are and the contribution you can make to our society. I love that. That's beautiful. And that's, I can sense that you're using people's imagination and their dreams and their creativity. And you're saying that's what brings us all together in the moment, despite our titles. Is that what oh, you're saying? You've wrapped it up. I go on and on and you wrapped it up in one beautiful <laughs> statement. <laughs> you can tell the difference between I'm one that just keeps talking and Arlia listens and brings it to but that is exactly why we're we work so well together she helps refocus me and I think yes that is exactly and I think these are the things that uh, we need in our society not that I have the answers or that you know, high heels cabaret is an answer or hello self there are different answers out there and everybody has a way of contributing so I'm not trying to say that this is the only way. It's one way. And I do know it works because I have done it. I'm not afraid to get my stuff off that someday shelf. And well, that's, throw it. <laughs> that's what I love about you is like you're willing to, to get out there and, and do things and try them and bring people in and bring people together to create something magical, something that benefits the, that nonprofit space that raises money for that. And then also creates a, an evergreen product that can really help change lives in whatever organization. So let's get, let's give people all the details about how they can, even if they can't attend in person, they can buy a ticket to support the project. So let's give them all the details about how to when and where, and then how to get tickets. Okay, again, it is at uh, Nikat Studios on White Bridge Road, 120 White Bridge Road in Nashville, Tennessee. And you can get tickets on Eventbrite. And we will put that link on this podcast so mm -hmm. you have the link uh, because it's got X's and O's and Q's and all. Yes. <laughs> I can't remember all those things. However, if you want, if you have a question or an inquiry about this, or you say, Patricia, what could I do? I'd really be interested. Or you would want to bring it to your school or one of your organizations. I did this for Red Hat Society about five or six, I, I don't know how many years ago it was, here in Nashville. And they made $4,000 for a scholarship and they did the marketing and everything and I produced the Beautiful. event. So there is an avenue for this and giving back to, to our members as well as giving back to society in general. So reach out to me. You can reach out at uh, Patricia Leonard, uh, Patricia at PatriciaLeonard.net. 
go to my website, you'll see my Hello Self uh, podcast on there. And that's Patricia at Patricia. Lin it's the same thing. It's so it's a runway to success. And you'll see that. But feel free to call me too, 615-406-9644. If you're interested in bringing the High Heels Cabaret to your organization, your business, or your conference, and or you might have something you'd like to share in it. Because whether you think or not, I bet you you and I could create something to put in a High Heels Cabaret show. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. And the, the, the date for that first performance is August 25th at 7? Yes, 7 to 9. Thank you for that because I forgot. It's August. It's a Friday night, August the 25th. And again, it's at NECAT Studios on White Bridge Road in Nashville, Tennessee. And you are helping raise funds for two nonprofits. And that is Women in Film and the NECAT Studios. Beautiful. I love that. I love that it just, it, 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 it feeds the performers and it feeds the community and it's going to feed these organizations. I love that. Yeah. Well, Patricia, thank you for letting me take the reins of your podcast today. Oh my um, goodness. I'm so excited. This is fun to be on this side. <laughs> no responsibility, just talk and I can. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank right. you so much. I appreciate it. And I appreciate your clarifying and get this out there about the High Heels Cabaret. That's fabulous. Thank you so much. Yeah. And Arlia, again, I want to say that Arlia produces my Hello Self podcast. And if you have a need for podcast, <laughs> you can connect with her too. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and close out our show and say thank you for joining us here on the Hello Self podcast. And I have been your host, Arlia Hoffman, with the other host patricia leonard and as she always says keep dreaming thank you for joining hello self today and may it offer insight and inspire you to stay on your runway to success like share and subscribe and remember this keep dreaming